Well, the dog is lucky to be alive this morning after a near-death experience in Rio Arriba County. Thanks to a good Samaritan's quick thinking and the fast work of rescue crews, he has been given a second chance. News 13's Gabe Chavez shows us what happened and how he managed to pull through. He almost didn't look like a dog. That's because Muffin's face and neck was swollen after getting trapped in a coyote snare last week. The cord, the, the cable, was cutting into the flesh of his neck. The puppy was on his last leg. The snare, so tight, it was strangling the Doberman mix. I just don't know how anybody would be able to get one of those off uh, with, you know, out in the fields without the benefit of sedating a dog. A passerby found the distressed dog somewhere in Rio Arriba County and called animal control for help. And so our staff was actually waiting in the parking lot when animal control trucks sort of, you know, sped in and we got him on a stretcher. It's unclear how long Muffin had been stuck in the trap but getting him out was no small task. You can see just how much force was required to uh, cut through that snare with bolt cutters. Um, it took, I think, three or four tries, and you can see him shaking with the force needed to cut through that. In 2021, lawmakers passed a bill that made traps like these ones illegal on public land in an attempt to avoid incidents like this one. These traps, they, they don't discriminate. Um, it could have been um, somebody's dog, somebody's cat, a child. Um, it could get caught around a neck, a paw, a hand, a foot. Today, Muffin is feeling much better. His rescuers say he got lucky. He's um, physically, he's, he's really pretty much recovered at this point. Um, I think emotionally, it's going to take him a little bit of time to fully recover, but he's a really resilient little guy um, who just has a huge heart. Gabe Chavez, KRQE, News 13. Oh, sweet puppy there. Now Muffin is officially ready for a new home. He is up for adoption at the Española Humane Society.